I'm here at Collindale in London at the First World War in the Air Exhibition. It holds 14 beautifully restored aircraft, plus original uniforms, flying clothes, and a huge interactive archive under the roof of one of the RAF's last original hangars. This is a very special museum because it tells the story of the Royal Air Force, which has been crucial in shaping what Great Britain and the world looks like today. Keep your nose up. Yes, keep the nose up. <laughs> so, yeah. Terence, tell me about this. What is it? It's a training aid. There are accounts that you get 20 minutes in this and then you'd be taken out and shown your aircraft. Sometimes they would lose control of the aircraft and they'd find themselves hanging upside down, just hanging onto the Lewis gun and hoping that they were low enough to fall without hurting themselves or that the aircraft would somehow right itself. Goodness. I love coming to the museum because I like looking at the planes. So, Freddie, I saw a few pictures of your dad over there. I mean, you must be extremely proud. Oh, the family are absolutely delighted I mean, with this exhibition. And uh, you, you've got a letter, haven't you? To... Yes, we have, from my grandmother. My dear Fred, it's not pleasant to know you're in France again amidst the shot and shell, but let's hope your presence there will hasten the end of the war. And do please be as careful as you are brave. <laughs> Uh, I thought it's a wonderful thing for a mother to say to a son. What would your father have made of this exhibition? Well, he would have been delighted that they'd been remembered in this way and that future generations were able to see the way both sides were working on the edge of technology. It feels amazing to have won the award from the National Lottery. It's a great acknowledgement for the huge team that has been working on it. This exhibition brings to life the stories of the brave men and women who fought in the First World War, plus educates generations for years and years to come. <laughs>